Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back or welcome if you're new here. Today I'm going to be filming a video kind of just showing you my every Sunday routine. Basically, in this video I just take you along a day in the life with me getting productive, all the things that I do to kind of reset and all that. And before we get into it, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified every single time I post. Leave a like and a comment and I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, what's up? Happy Sunday. Um, it is currently 9 o'clock in the morning and I'm going to be kind of showing you guys my healthy Sunday routine. I just finished planning out um, my week for next week. Um, and I also made myself a grocery list. I do live with my parents, but I have to get my own food like for things that I want, which makes sense. Like, why would I have my parents buy me like almond milk and like healthy things when like I'm the only one eating them, you know, when I have a job and I can buy them myself. So I'm going to do that. I also have to go to Target to get um, meal prep containers. So I'm going to go get all that food, get my meal prep containers. Um, and then I'm going to head home, um, probably clean, put my laundry away, shower, and then do homework for the rest of the night. I'm supposed to work tonight, but I literally feel so sick. Um, so hopefully one of my coworkers can cover it for me. If they can't, then I guess I have to go to work at five, which is gonna suck, but oh well. <laughs> um, so that's kind of the agenda right now. Okay guys, I'm headed to a Trader Joe's right now, but I wanted to show you what I got from Target really quick. So I literally just got like little cotton rounds. This lotion that like everybody talks about, and since I like self-tanning, I think this will be really cool and useful. This kombucha that I'm literally about to drink right now because I feel so sick. <laughs> like, I literally hate being sick on Sunday because it's the day that I get the most done. And it's like, huh, so much pain. I also got nail polish remover, just like Target brings the dollar. And then I got nail polish because I don't really have, like, I have two nail polish colors. And I'd rather paint my nails and go get them done. And I wanted my nails, like, this color so badly. And so I just got a top coat and then this, like, really pretty light blue called gelato on my mind and then i got these like reusable snack bags these are like so cool i saw these and i like freaked out because i put snacks in baggies like every single day for school and this is just so much better for the environment like this is so cool i love this and then i got these little clips for my car um because i'm cleaning my car out today and i have these old febreze clips that don't really smell like anything anymore um, and so today I'm literally gonna purge my car, get a car wash, all that. So I got these new ones. And then I just got some of my favorite hand lotion because I just ran out. And then I got the a two pack of like makeup wipes. So it's kind of an expensive car trip and I'm like not part an expensive target trip. And I'm kind of sad about it. But I always do this thing where like whenever I run out of something like lotion or like makeup wipes, I like wait, I like wait so long to rebuy it until I need a lot of things. And I just buy it all at once. And I hate that I do that. It'd be so much smarter to just buy it when I run out. But I'm just going to put these guys in. And then head to Trader Joe's. And I'm really excited. I've not been to Trader Joe's, honestly, since I lived in Vegas. So, And it's cheap. I was going to go to Whole Foods. And I'm like, I don't want to like freaking get broke right now. <laughs> okay, I think this is the wrong way. Okay, that feels better. Maybe I feel like I won't sit down. Hi, guys. <laughs> I want to show you quickly what I got from Trader Joe's. Oh my god. I spent $24.50 for all of this food. I'm like so shocked. So glad I didn't go to Whole Foods because this would have been like $80. So the first thing I got is this bag of like little sweet peppers. Um, I'm really excited because this is going to be such a good snack. And then I got a Honeycrisp apple. <laughs> I got a cucumber. I got these Ezekiel um, sprouted grain tortillas because I'm going to be making wraps this week for lunch. And then I kind of got a bunch of stuff to put in my wraps, but I also got this salad. It looks really good. It's like a legume, legume, I don't know how to say that word. Legume and spinach salad palette. Don't know what that means, but it looks really good. And I'm definitely going to eat this today for lunch. Um, and then I got some microgreens also for my wrap. I got almond milk. I'm not going to take it out. It's like the Trader Joe's brand unsweetened almond milk. Um, cherry tomatoes. Hummus. Carrots also for a snack. And that is about it. There's still a couple things that I do have to get um, that I couldn't find there or at Target. Specifically, like, meal prep reusable containers. Because I spend so much money a week on lunch. And this was only $24. Like, I feel like I spend $24. I feel like I spend, like, $100 a week on lunch going out. And it's crazy. I need to be saving money and be more responsible. Anyways, so I need to go look for meal prep containers. I also need to get coconut water and trail mix. 
coconut water, trail mix. Let me see what else. Okay, I need coconut mix, coconut mix, coconut water, trail mix, non-dairy yogurt, and meal prep containers. I love, like, there's this one brand of yogurt. I think it's so good. It's like, I think Silk makes it, and it, I'm pretty sure it's like a soy milk yogurt. It's like a soy milk. It's really. All right, guys. So I just got home from running some errands. Um, I'm gonna eat the salad that I got, and then and watch like really fun and motivational videos. And then I'm going to put all of my laundry away, vacuum, clean my room, take all the trash out, dust. I'm also going to get rid of a bunch of clothes and put them on Depop. And then I'm going to clean my bathroom, my mirror. Uh, and after all the cleaning and organizing is done, I'm going to take a shower, like shave, self-tan, do my nails. Um, and then after all that's done, um, I'm going to meal prep and then do all of my homework. And that's pretty much my day. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. So I just got out of the shower and I just kind of want to show you guys what I do when I get out. I always brush my teeth whenever I get out of the shower, like literally no matter what time of day it is. Um, and I brush my teeth and then I just use mouthwash, so I'm going to do that. After that, I'm going to go ahead and do my hair routine. I guess like what I do after the shower. So I just kind of wring my hair out like this. And then my hair products. I do have a video that I go really into depth about like the shampoo and like the masks that I use in the shower and stuff, but you can watch that. I'll link it down below. Um, I use this Purology Color Care like multitasking hair beautifier. I got a sample of this one time just to try it and I really loved it. And it's kind of like, they have that thing, that little spray that's like 21 and it has like 21 benefits, something like that. I totally forgot what it's called. It's kind of like the same thing. It's like a leave-in conditioner and hair heat protectant and just a bunch of stuff. And I just love Purology things. And my hair used to be so damaged and now it's like so healthy and I just love it. And I think it's just the combination of things that I do like in my hair. Um, and then after I spray that, I'm going to use my Shea Moisture conditioner. It looks really gross because I dropped it one time and the whole lid cracked. But I don't want to waste it <laughs> because I still have like... A good amount left and I'm really sad about it but this stuff lasts. I do three drops like that put it on my hands and then just put it on the ends of my hair and then I comb my hair and I know it's really bad for your hair so don't do it I know it's bad so you don't have to leave a comment but I just like doing it because I don't like my hair drying tangled and I don't have a wet brush and I should probably get a wet brush but I don't know this is just what I do. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to my skincare. Today, I wanna do like a mask um, before I have to clean and stuff so I can do some stuff while my mask is on. As you guys know, Tatcha and Drunk Elephant are like my ride or die skincare brands. I love them so much. I think it's important to invest in your skin. Um, it's just like your skin is really important, I don't know. I think if you're gonna invest money, if you're gonna buy expensive makeup, like why can't you buy expensive skincare? You know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's more important to have nice skincare products than it is to have nice makeup products. Like, that's just, I don't know. Like when it comes down to it, if I had to pick nice skincare or nice makeup, I'd pick nice skincare because what's the point of wearing nice makeup if you have awful skin, you know? And by the way, this cleanser is the Tatcha Deep Cleanse Cleanser. I love it so much. It also smells really nice and it's just great and it really cleans your skin it's hard for me to find cleansers that like really do take off excess makeup and when i dry my face there is no makeup residue all right now that my face is clean and dry i'm just gonna put my face mask on um and i'm just gonna be using the drunk elephant tlc sukari baby facial i like buying it in the little bottle as opposed to the big bottle i literally got this like months ago and i still have a lot of it left um and plus, I feel like I'd rather buy the small one, like, every two or three months versus having a big one. And, like, because it would be more fresh if you did it like this, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to put that on my face. This mask is, like, colorless. And, wow, it is burning. If you've never used it, it's kind of like getting a, a facial peel, peel at home. And it's, like, really hurting right now because I really haven't washed. I've been, like, over the weekend, I just take really bad care of my skin. I don't know why. So right now it's just like disgusting so of course it's burning and the burning tingling sensation is like literally normal 
it makes when it doesn't burn and tingle it makes me feel like it's not working so all right and then after it's on my face um like in a thin layer like you can tell it's shiny i leave it on for about 20 minutes and then i'm gonna rinse it off and just finish my face off with um the virgin marula luxury facial oil because i'm not going to be doing anything else today it is only two o'clock but i'm just gonna do my night skincare right now and then i'm gonna moisturize my body and then i'm gonna start cleaning up my room so i am putting some clothes in a washing machine right now i just put some clothes away i don't have like the biggest load to do but like it's like my laundry basket is like sort of full so i'd rather just like get it over with you know, than having to like deal with it later in the week. Since I'm already doing laundry anyway, like why not just throw these clothes in with it too? And then after this, I'm going to meal prep and I'll show you guys like what I'm making for my meal prep. I'm like really, really, really excited. Like I, oh God, I'm so excited. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go now, bye. <laughs> so I'm defrosting chicken right now. Basically, I'm gonna show you what, how I'm gonna make um, my wraps. I was gonna do it just a veggie wrap, but then I realized that I didn't get that many veggies and I don't wanna starve and chicken is really good and chicken's healthy for you. So I did get these Ezekiel um, tortillas. I, I'm i pretty sure they're good for you. I just know I used to eat Ezekiel bread back in the day. So I got these ones. Um, so basically how I'm gonna be making these wraps is I'm gonna take a tortilla. I'm gonna use this tomato basil hummus and I'm really excited for this. This hummus is so good. Put some hummus on there, put some microgreens, some chicken, some cucumber, and some tomatoes. Roll it up, cut it into cute little tiny things, and then put them, or probably just cut it in half to be honest because of the size of the container. So there's like two half wraps right here. And then in this side, I'm probably gonna fill with my sweet peppers. These are the sweet peppers that I got. They look like this, so I'm probably just gonna put these in the other side. Um, and I'm probably gonna do three days worth of lunch today, or honestly, as many as my, ch I think I'm gonna make a bunch of chicken. So this should last me three days, hopefully four days. I'm praying I can make four days worth of food right now. That would be nice. But yeah, I'm just gonna get started chopping everything up. Chips, as you guys probably saw, I already messed it up. <laughs> like the one day I tried to eat healthy with all the diet, it like didn't work. So I seasoned my chicken with cumin, smoked paprika, chili powder, and then just salt and pepper. And then I just cut it into like little strips, sort of like this. Let me turn it up. And then after it finishes cooking, I am going to start building my wrap. Hi guys, so I'm actually editing uh, this video and I realized that I never concluded it. So basically what I did for the rest of the day is I finished my meal prep and then after that I literally went up to my room, tidied it up, did homework, went to sleep and called it a night. And I also went out to sushi later that night for dinner. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified every single time I post, leave a like and a comment. Bye!